What's up everybody? This is Russ RWG Research and today I'm going to fire up the uh, split gas cell from uh, Bill Williams and uh, it's a really 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 cool device and I really think you guys need to, to just think about this device and look into it. I can create hydrogen on demand just hydrogen not hydrogen and oxygen but just hydrogen or just oxygen. It is a cool device. Got it working here, got it all hooked up, got it set up. Uh, I'm going to try to, from now on, start my videos out with the date. I failed already. The date is June 1st. Okay. So, yes, today is the first day of the real testing towards the EPG system. I am excited. So let's just get started. I'm going to show you what I got here. It is slightly crazy. Uh, basically, this is the split gas cell right here. And uh, there are a bunch of plates in here that are divided by uh, gaskets, which in between gaskets there are actually um, nylon ripstop. And what that does is allows the current to flow through it, but not the um, gas. So it's pretty cool stuff. Bill designed that. This is actually his prototype cell that he sent me, letting me use such a kind sir. I mixed the, uh, the electrolyte today. And uh, let me tell you, this is some nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Yes. Very, very nasty. Uh, be extremely careful with it if you guys work with it. It is nasty. It's 20% uh, by, by mass um, and distilled water. And basically the system is filled up. This is the oxygen side. This is the hydrogen side. This is a dump tank. Uh, it comes out of the hydrogen side. I'm sorry, the oxygen side. Uh, I need to put a cap on here. I'll do that later. It won't overflow right now because I'm not restricting. Basically, this system set up because the hydrogen and oxygen is created in different uh, volumes. Because when you break down water, the molecules are different sizes. So you actually get different volumes out. So uh, there's this tube on the back. And what this tube does is it allows water to transfer from one to the other. So if you get too much pressure here, it balances out the system. Okay, smart. Uh, he's actually designed a few other um, devices that are for this, and they're way better than this. This was a prototype, and it works, and that's what matters. Uh, so this is just a spill tank. If this were to overflow because of pressure built up in the hydrogen side, because I was actually restricting the flow of it, it would uh, it would transfer through that tube, build up, and overflow into this container, and then I got a hole up here that would relieve the uh, the air out into the the open, the oxygen, and I'll be able to visually see what's going on and stop it before it gets too bad. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see. I got my amp meter, my volt meter. I've got two batteries here. They're 18 amp hours, 12 volts. Some scrap ones out of some UPSs seem to still work okay. And uh, I got a battery charger on it. Oh, that is warm. And uh, basically, I'm always probably going to leave the battery charger on it when I'm using it just to let the amps come out of here. There's four amps out of here and then the rest out of here. Uh, this is this will run up to 25 amps with it before it starts pulsing because there, there's not enough liquid to get into the cell for the air, for the oxygen and hydrogen to take off, and it starts surging, and, and you don't want to get that far. So it seems to be working pretty well. And uh, right now, this is probably the way I always have it. I just got jumpers here. Boop! That's it. It's ready to rock. So uh, let's start. I think I've explained most of everything, but please look into this system. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Bill Williams, give it a Google. You'll find everything you need to know. All right. So right now, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna step back so you can see these gauges. I'm gonna hook this up right now. All right, so I'm pulling about 20 amps, and it'll drop a little because my batteries aren't charged. My volt's about 12 volts. And uh, look at them bubbles. Look at them bubbles come out of that thing. Woo! Flowing good, ain't it? That's the hydrogen side. Look at that stuff. It's just, it's bubbling in there like crazy. The oxygen side isn't near as much because the ratio is obviously different, but it is pumping hard to see there you can see it so we are doing hydrogen and oxygen separately now what you'll notice 
is I've got this coming directly out of the hydrogen tube directly over here and directly into this tube with no flashback arrestor you know why because hydrogen doesn't explode by itself yeah oxygen doesn't explode by itself the two mixed together quite very dangerous and there actually should be a uh, a protector in here just in case we have a breach and you get a little oxygen in the hydrogen but for now here we go hydrogen yes is that not neat that is pure hydrogen I actually I actually can't blow it out I'll try let me get this up so you can see it oh I did blow it out that time normally I can't blow it out that's cool Woo! can you hear it You might get a little bit better close up for you guys. Sorry about the bad camera work, but it's gonna be the way it is for a little while. Let's turn the lights off, shall we? Why not? So there you are. Very, very, very clean burning flame. Right out the end of a tube with no protection. That, my friends, is hydrogen. That, my friends, is the way of the future. I know it. So, there you go. Um, this is probably getting pretty warm. Yeah, so I'm going to blow it out here. And uh, let it cool off. So, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll light it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it off over here. And uh, show you what, guys what happens here. So, I got it off now. Come over here. And there it went out. Now what's really neat is this capacitor. I mean, I'm sorry, this this cell acts as a capacitor. So I'm going to disconnect it now. Look how the voltage goes down. Pretty neat. Actually, like, charges the, uh, the plates in here and everything has to settle. All right, well, that was a demo of the split gas cell from Bill Williams. I thank you, sir, so kindly for letting me use this. Um, it's a beautiful device. I encourage you to go uh, check it out. All right, uh, RussRWGResearch.com in the new lab playing with hydrogen, pure hydrogen. Um, look at that, it got so hot, melted my, uh, melted my tube, shut it off just in time. Woo! Cool stuff, huh? Alright, so that's the kind of temperatures we're playing with. The hydrogen burns hot. So, now we're going to plasmatize some in this donut. Or at least that's the goal. Alright, uh, please check out the forums at uh, open-source-energy.org. Um, cool stuff. Peace, everyone. Leave me some comments, let me know your thoughts, and uh, the epic day begins of the EPG testing. So this is just the beginning stages of being able to use the hydrogen and oxygen. You can mix this stuff too. Works just fine. You just don't want to light it. So, uh, alright. Let's create some plasma.